Who are we kidding? What, if, what does it matter if, I, if, it's, if it's just an hour later or, or whatever time it is? Uh, it's not even 10 minutes later <laughs> from when I ended the video. I'm out here, I'm out here. Uh, so it's, we're gonna start, because it is a 24 hour day. That's the way I work. That's the way I study, that's my schooling. Um, my middle school for life, this is, this is the way it works. And it's a, the deep dive is the period of homework where you're sitting there for two, three hours and you're doing nothing but the research. You're doing nothing but studying. And it happens at all times of the year. It doesn't necessarily have to happen between between the uh, the school what's called the school year. Oh, it just what happens during the school year. You tend to you tend to be uh, more focused on that that it, than you were before. So, anyways, this is the beginning vlog uh, for uh, Tuesday, uh, August twenty fifth. And this is my days are again they're off. Again, I thought it was Monday today, but it's not. It's not Monday. It's Tuesday, the twenty fifth of August. Uh, I've been keeping up with the editing. The editing has been going very well. Uh, everybody is in back to school mode. I'm pretty sure when I go back to do my YouTube stroll, probably later on tonight or something like that, uh, that everyone's going to be still for, pretty much in back to school mode. Some people have already gone back to school. Uh, it's just a matter of you know who has and who hasn't gone back to school. And of course, on, on, the, on the TV commercials, they're now showing with the back to school commercial. Uh, they're showing parents going back to school as well. And and people do that. Older people do go back to school. They go back to a, a, a particular class in art or whatever, or, or they become a lawyer or they become they become something else. They go they move. Uh, you know, and the thing is now the big thing is this called, uh, it was STEM, now it's STEAM. Uh, apparently, our, uh, you have liberal arts as your main pro pro main program that have always been 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 advertised in schools. Are your liberal arts? It's it's, it's uh, English, uh, art languages, art, uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. It's, it was called the liberal arts. Uh, this is your, was always been your main focus, and most people uh, sort of took uh, science as a side. Well, now they're trying to put, they were trying to push uh, 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 science ahead. So they have science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Well, the thing, the problem is that they're all the same subject, uh, sort of way. <laughs> you know, science is technology, it is engineering, and it is mathematics. That's, that, 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 that's the reality of science. But they needed to come up with a nice, cool acronym. So you're going to make cool as a scientist. <laughs> Hey, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Well, of course, the arts were left out of it, and they were feeling, oh, you can't leave me out of this. I'm not the focus anymore. So now it becomes STEAM, uh, uh, science, technology, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So now they've got the arts back, so they, they produce STEAM. Uh, <laughs> for me, the whole thing spells C A R P, which means crap. <laughs> and that's what it is. It, 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 it's these sloganeering, these, these these statements, these sayings. And this is it. I, I, the, I understand the sentiment behind "you are worth it." I, under, I do definitely do understand the sentiment behind it. But this is again, it's a more an empty sloganeering. It's not a simply a matter. It's simply a matter of patting yourself on the back and stating that you're worth it. It in many cases it doesn't matter how you. As I said, it doesn't matter how you feel. You keep moving forward. You, you keep it. You know this. This is where the whole concept is. No refunds. It doesn't matter what other people, what the other people think of you. Their opinions don't necessarily matter. Even your own opinion in many cases doesn't necessarily matter. There are things, there are times when you're working on a project, or, 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 or you're, particularly if you're breaking the boundaries, you're doing something that's <laughs> this is where the other the other half of the thing comes up. You can do things as long as your goals are are, are reasonable, as long as, as long as your goals are reasonably set, reasonably set. <laughs> well, at what point in time did the founders of Apple, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak? ever set out to do something that was practical. They, they, they achieved something that was what many people, people considered to be impossible. 
because they set out to do the impossible. They, they, they set out to push the boundaries. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get it, but what happens, they, they get, their success was they didn't quit. And the thing is, a lot of people say, well, well you know, don't set your goals high. Don't, don't, don't aim for something, you know, amazing. Keep it low, you know. My view is, you know, do what you want to do. And the thing is, the, 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 the further out the thing you want is, the more risk there's going to be. There's a higher risk of failure. And you have to be willing to accept that. And there are going to be bad days. Sometimes there are going to be bad months. I mean, the, 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 the time of bad in terms of things that aren't going well could be, could be of a significant length. And then this is where the patience has to come in. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of times people aren't patient, and that's where the whole issue comes in. And they say, "Well, if I, it hasn't met my expectation by, you know, next month, I'm quitting." Well, you failed because you quit. And the thing is, this is about this. In many cases, it's mostly about time out. It doesn't mean I mean that's the only thing you have to. That you're taking some risk. That's the only thing you have to do. You can sort of adjust your schedules, you adjust your project management, your time management, and to fit other things in there. And, and, and you can do that. There's not a pro problem, problem doing that. It's not always going to be the best thing, but it's, at the same time, if that's what needs to be done, that's what needs to be done. So anyways, uh, I've still got, well, we've got another 24 hours left to go, and uh, this is the beginning. Well, it is a little after one. I think it's going to be the 26th. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's the 26th. That's right, I got it right. Wednesday, August 26th. It's at 1 o'clock in the morning. We're c continuing the vlog for the 25th day for, for uh, Tuesday. I sat outside for about an hour, hour and a half. And at some point in time, it got too cold, so I came in, uh, did some gaming, did some food shopping. Uh, the uh, food will be here on Thursday, around 2 o'clock. That's the time slot for delivery of uh, picked, so yay for that. Uh, and so now, because it's cool enough, I'm back uh, on the couch uh, doing my YouTube stroll, and then I'm going to binge watch the Yowie vlog, because I just watched the first episode. Uh, interesting episode. Uh, it's a little after uh, the uh, Mike, Sells fam uh, Mike Sells family uh, uh, had a plane crash. The dad is in very serious condition. Uh, and so th this is where they get into the you are worth it thing. Apparently they're very close to or next door to uh, the Ohana adventure. So they go over there and they... Uh, they, they sort of uh, showing one of the fish ponds they have. They always have side business. There's always a side business in addition to YouTube that they do that sort of keeps things going. Uh, and I know several times that, 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 that you do have to have several other projects uh, going at the same time. I guess one project may be down, so you start working on another project, and that's kind of how things go. Uh, that's, how you, that's how you move along. Uh, my, my situation is very, very similar where, uh, you have various different classes and <laughs> I was sort of, uh, doing some, uh, and it, it never, it, it never intends to be a heavy, deep research, uh, a deep dive research, but you end up doing it anyways. Uh, you say, oh, let's do this for five minutes and two hours later you're onto something else, uh, or, or further down the road than you intended to be. Oh, oh. And the thing is, is they, 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 this is where they, they talk about their faith in God. And certainly, and this is the whole thing, is people say, oh, well, how do you believe in God? Well, the problem is, is that atheism, unfortunately, is dead. Um, and it wasn't religion that killed atheism, it was actually science. When quantum physics came about, and we had the research being done in quantum physics, that 
all the way through to uh, very advanced areas in quantum physics. Uh, quantum physics behaves as a, as a bizarre type of physics. Uh, you have a point where you can get to, you can stay as a regular scientist and, you know, not believe in God. But then there's a certain point in time when, uh, where if you go a little bit further down the path, it looks like the path ends, but it doesn't actually end. It just falls off a cliff. And so do you. <laughs> because now you're in no man's land where there is still more to be, to, to understand, to learn. It just is so far beyond your comprehension that there is no way, no real way to make sense of it. So you're, you're out in, basically out in space, lost in space, trying to figure out what's what. And that's when you begin to realize that there is something significantly more beyond us. And this has sort of been confirmed by quantum physics by, by uh, uh, Maxwell Planck and, and a number of other physicists who have worked on quantum mechanics, uh, there's there's more there. And then when they get into particle physics, that same thing occurred there, where they extended it even further. But what happens is with the way the university funds things, they're not, they're not actually allowed to go into these other areas because they're kind of, well, oh, that's not really science. But metaphysics, the physics of the beyond, is real. There is a real physics there. It's just what happens is whether you, cannot, you consider it to be real or not, and since quantum physics and particle theory open the door to this, why not explore in that area? And that's kind of where, where I've ended up, is that uh, in uh, February 2018, I found the connection between uh, quantum mechanics, particle, particle physics, and metaphysics. So that you could go into these areas now and put together a serious physics. And what's there is absolutely amazing. We know very little about it because most of our understanding of metaphysics comes from what we'll call the Western Christian Church. That's basically Roman Catholicism and beyond. And that there, that goes back just about a thousand A.D. You have a, another thousand years of Christianity that's completely missing. So the thing is, how do you believe? Well, how don't you believe? If you actually sat down and looked at what was there, you say, "Okay, yeah, there's some, there, there's, there's definitely something more. We haven't seen everything we need to see." And when you sit down, you start to study it out, you start to do the research, you begin to realize that that it, this what's more there is not insignificant. That it, there's a significant amount more. So, in terms of whether you are worth it or not, it doesn't necessarily matter. Again, it's all. It's not saying, oh, you have to have worth, or we have infinite worth. That matter, the, the, the discussion of worth doesn't, is not actually relevant because it doesn't matter whether you have worth or not if you keep going forward because there's always something more, particularly if you want to do this exploration. Some people don't want to do the exploration. Some people just want to sit on the couch and watch TV. It's their choice. Anyways, I'm going to make some tea. And get back to binge watching Yowie vlogs. It usually takes about 10 seconds for the camera to stop rocking back and forth on this uh, tripod. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's about noon on. Um, get the date my mind again it's August 26th I realized how important uh, putting the time and date stamp in there is is that when you're going back and processing things it's difficult to often know when what, where the vlog begin where the vlog be begun where the vlog begun uh, uh, belongs there you go it's noon you can hear the uh, chime of the cuckoo clock. <laughs> and that's what I was doing now. I'm uploading to a second uh, uh, site, a second uh, video uh, uh, holding site like YouTube. And I'll be putting it out on uh, a second platform, uh, uh, WordPress. That I'm in the process of doing that now. So, Anyways, last night uh, I was at the, uh, at the Tannerites and then I finished... Uh, up at 
Well, I haven't finished up yet. I'm at the uh, It's Our Life, The Riches. I still have to go and see uh, Evie and Campy Riches videos. Uh, see what they've put up. It's been a while. Since it's been, well, a couple of days since I went, did the YouTube stroll. That happens. Every once in a while, the YouTube stroll falls, falls off. And I have to go back and do binge watching to sort of to catch up with what's going on. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but just, you know. And, of course, they're talking, the, uh, uh, the, uh, Yowie vlog is still talking about, uh, the Micah Cells, uh, plane crash. Ooh. And so I went by and looked at, at the Micah Cells uh, uh, vlog to see what they had. And they had up about the plane crash. It occurred around August 8th, apparently. But the thing is, is if you're not if you're not always on YouTube, you're not always doing the stroll. Uh, you're not necessarily going to be aware of things until after you know they come out. Enough people come up and say, "Okay, this is what's happened." And then you go, you have to go, you have to sort of backtrack and sort of see, "Okay, uh, this is what did occur." And you could, you, you could see how when a, a tragedy strikes, how it affects the entire family. It takes you know, it takes their focus off of their day-to-day -day existence and shifts it again and then, and then there's a struggle to get back, well, back to what they call normal and this is even occurs with this whole uh, with this whole um, this panic the gas panic uh, the great fart panic of 2020 Be the people are still sensitive about Using the word, whatever is whatever is going on. So we're using the, we're using the great fart panic. Uh, YouTube is still finicky about this. It's still censoring words. It's still out there trying to police and control what people say, what people think. I mean, it's it's like it's like living in a dictatorship. Careful what you say. You don't want to end up in jail. And this is because another person's free speech. In many cases, another person's hate speech. Oh, I don't like what you said. That's hateful. I feel threatened. I feel triggered. And of course, once they feel triggered, you know, these are the people who do feel triggered by hurt words and stuff like that. They have the obligation, they feel, to attack you physically uh, for the things you say because they perceive it as a threat. Uh, now, this is called, also called now called peaceful protesting, and we're seeing this in, in spades on the news that we have... These peaceful protesters who burned down a building, these peaceful protesters who beat up this particular person or killed the person or, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, things are never as, as simple as they seem. But yet the, uh, the answers and the, the real answers are never ever sought. What you have, particularly in the media, are convenient answers. Uh, very little history behind it, very little understanding behind it. And the thing is, is that when you when you approach problems, when you approach tragedies, yes, the emotion is there, but if you want to actually resolve a particular problem, then you got to sit down and think about it in a realistic fashion. You can't go out there and spout these, these sort of hyperbole of, of what you want to do to get revenge. Uh, you need to say, okay, if, if you simply get revenge, well, it's going to happen again because when you take revenge, you're taking... You, the revenge is always disproportionate. And you end up pulling in innocent people that you never intended to. And so now they have to get revenge on you for the disproportionate, but they're going to do it in a disproportionate fashion. So, it, and again, it's a never-ending cycle. It, 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 this is how the, vi the, cycle, the cycle of violence gets worse and worse and worse. What there is, what needs to happen is there needs to be a way to sort of step back and just sort of, hey, let's look at this, let's, let's see how we could have done better uh, to avoid the tragedy the next time. But this isn't, this isn't going on. The discussion needed to repair the problem isn't occurring. And a lot of times, this is not a fault with the Yowie vlogs. I'm not picking a fault with it, but, but this is the problem with, we'll call these empty words, you are worth it. These are platitudes. These are praises for yourself, often known as positive affirmation. 
it doesn't matter how you feel about yourself. When something needs to get done, it needs to get done. Even if you think you're doing a crappy job, you have to work your way through it, it no matter how you feel about yourself in that situation. And what will happen is sometimes the work will come out crappy, it won't be coming out good, it won't come out good, but that's how you learn for the next time. People are too afraid of failures because they're too afraid of what other people will think of them, or, or, or they what they think of themselves. So the solution, oh, oh, think you're worth it. But that's not always the situation. You never can, you may never be able to get, get to that point. It has to be, regardless of how you feel, move forward. And that's no refunds. Because it doesn't take into consideration your worth. 